Welcome back to another weekly vlog. This week I'm really looking forward to getting back into a consistent routine because it went out the window slightly last week. I feel like I'm being really dramatic about last week. All that happened was that I spent more time at home than I would normally and there's nothing wrong with that. I think I just really value my routine a lot and it's really how I work best and keep motivated so it's as soon as it's slightly altered, I feel all over the place. But obviously having a routine all the time is not realistic either. So it's good to show the balance, I guess. However, as I said, this week should be a little bit more structured again, a little bit more back to normal. My main focus is actually gonna be doing the data analysis for my dissertation because last week on Friday, I think, I finished my survey and published it and put the link on my Instagram story and you guys blew me away <laughs> with the amount of responses that I got. I am so grateful. I got 1,750 responses, which is just crazy for a research project. So thank you so much to anyone that took the time to do that survey and be part of my dissertation. It honestly means so much to me that you guys care enough to do that for me. But because I now have so much data to go through, it's definitely gonna take me a while longer. But I'm weirdly excited to analyze the data, which is not something I expected because I am not a fan of statistics. I'm not a fan of SPSS, which is the software that I'm gonna have to use to analyze the data. But I think because it's a topic that I'm really interested in and because it was so involved with you guys and your responses, obviously they're completely anonymous. I don't know who said what, by the way. I'm just excited to see what the results are. However, it's gonna be a slow job, I think, because data analysis is not my strong suit. So there's gonna have to be a lot of learning on the go. Speaking of learning new skills, this week's video is very kindly sponsored by Coursera. So Coursera is an online platform that offers world-class, affordable and flexible learning to anyone worldwide. And the reason that I was keen to tell you guys about them is because as a final year student graduating in less than six months time. I've been thinking a lot lately about the career path that I want to go into after university and I know a lot of you are in a similar position and maybe you want to brush up on some skills that you've learned during your degree or maybe you want to learn some new skills. Coursera can help you get those job ready skills in time for graduation with Google certifications. As someone that likes having a plan in place ahead of time I know that doing one of these certifications would really help boost my confidence when applying to grad jobs because I know that I've got the necessary skills. To name a few examples of Google certifications that might be relevant to fellow business students you can do a certification in digital marketing, project management, IT support, data analytics which would actually be very helpful for my dissertation. So all really in-demand skills in high growth fields taught by Google experts and professionals. However, depending on what you study or the career path that you want to go into, I can guarantee that there will still be a Google certification that's useful for you. And once you've completed the program, you get a professional certificate from Google that you can put on your LinkedIn or your CV. And it not only showcases your new skills, but also shows them off to potential new employers. However, of course, learning new skills at any any stage of your education or career is always worthwhile. So this is definitely something that you could still do if you're currently in a career or you never went to university. The Google certifications require no relevant experience or degree, so they're very accessible for everyone. So if you're interested, you can start a seven day free trial of your chosen Google certification on Coursera by clicking the link in my description. And with that said, I'm gonna head off to uni.
Good morning, it is a Tuesday today. I've just had a shower and I'm just doing my skincare now. So I thought I'd talk you through that while doing my little intro this morning. I'm putting eye cream on first now because I saw something that said that that's the best way to layer products and I guess it kind of makes sense because this is the product that I want around my eyes so it probably acts like a bit of a barrier. I've also reintroduced some vitamin C back into my routine. I was using vitamin C over summer and then once I ran out I just didn't repurchase it but I do know that vitamin C is really good for brightening and it's got other Good properties and this one is the glow recipe serum I've been really enjoying their products recently anyway today I have a social media seminar from 10 to 12 it's actually a guest lecture by IBM they're talking us through some data analytics software that they've got the rest of my morning skincare is the same so I'm using the watermelon dewdrops from glow recipe and also their plum plump hyaluronic cream. So yeah, I started looking at all of my data yesterday for my dis and realized that I actually have no idea what I'm doing. I think because it's such a huge data set, it's so overwhelming to look at and so hard to actually make sense of. So I started pulling out some of the demographic data. So things like the age of respondents, the gender of respondents, the income of respondents. Once again, it's completely anonymous. Don't worry, I can't see any of your specific data. But I realized that getting any further than that, I was gonna need some help. So I booked a, another statistics one-on-one -on -one appointment and they've actually scheduled that in for today for me, which is really helpful that they responded that quickly. The statistics tutors are literally gonna get so sick of seeing me because I think this is my third appointment now but they're just so helpful so anyway i'm just going to finish up my skincare with some spf the most important step and then head off to uni Thank you. 
morning and happy International Women's Day to all the women watching. It is Wednesday today and I've actually got a really exciting day. I've been invited by the Women in Leadership Society at uni to do a talk at their Empower conference. It's not like a TED talk or anything, it's nothing super formal. It's essentially more like a Q&A and we're going to be chatting about my experience at uni, my experience being a content creator, how I stay motivated, how I stay productive, all of that jazz that comes with my personal brand. I've been feeling so chill about it up until last night. <laughs> And then all of a sudden last night, I just started overthinking absolutely everything and making myself really nervous. I've done stuff like this before with different societies and I did a talk right at the start of my final year in Freshers Week. So it's not that that I'm particularly nervous about. I think the difference with this event is it's a very professional kind of event. For example, they've got women doing panels throughout the day that are part of different industries. So they've got a women in finance panel, they've got a law panel, and then there's just me, <laughs> who's not a professional, uh, just happens to talk to a camera for fun. So last night and this morning, I'm definitely getting a little bit of imposter syndrome, but I'm sure it will be fine and I'm excited to meet these women as well because they all have really inspirational stories and I'm sure they've got some really good advice. It's good to push yourself out of your comfort zone and do things like this because you never know what it could lead to, you never know who you're gonna meet and it's all just good experience at the end of the day. Another thing I was completely overthinking last night is what on earth do I wear because it's a business casual event and I feel like that is the most confusing dress code. So I've allocated myself a lot more time than usual this morning to get ready. So I'm just gonna finish doing my makeup and then I'll let you know what I end up deciding to wear. Okay, so this is what I've ended up going with. We've gone very simplistic, but it makes me feel comfortable and I feel like you can't go wrong with simplicity. So I've got this black turtleneck on, I've got my blue wide leg jeans and then I'm hoping my heeled boots make it business casual. I don't know if these jeans are too casual, but I'm hoping that everything balances itself out. The only thing is though, I cannot walk in these boots for a long period of time. So I am gonna wear my Converse to uni and then change just before the networking lunch. So yeah, hopefully this fits the bill and I'm gonna head off to uni now. Wish me luck. So it's kind of a funny story. It was largely an accident. How do you think someone can also reach to the stage that you are right now? So my number one piece of advice is to make sure you're doing it for the right reasons because there's a lot of money in this industry now. It must be really hectic balancing, you know, content creating, studying. I'm sure we all have a lot. In terms of like that mental battle, what do you do personally or like for people you know in the same field like what has helped good morning it is thursday today please excuse my washing drying there our washing machine is finally fixed now so i just did a quick wash this morning before i head off to uni i feel like i'm still on a bit of a come down from the empower conference yesterday it was so much fun and i really enjoyed the whole day my original plan was to just go in for my talk obviously and the networking event that i was required at but 
I actually ended up sitting in on most of the talks during the day. I particularly enjoyed the women in law panel and it was so inspirational that I was literally sat there going, do I want to be a lawyer? <laughs> but I need to not get ahead of myself because I always do this whenever I'm at events like this. I decide that I want to change my career path at least seven times during the day. Today I am back to the normal grind though and I'm off to the library to work on my dissertation for a bit and then I've actually got my statistics meeting this afternoon. I don't think I mentioned this on Tuesday but it actually got cancelled my original meeting on Tuesday so I'm having it today instead and then after that meeting I'm gonna come home about three o'clock I think because I've got another exciting evening of events. I've been invited by Northern Ballet to see their Great Gatsby Ballet and we've got a drinks reception at the Ivy and then and we're going over to the Grand Theatre, I think, to watch the performance. But for now, I really need to head off to uni because I feel like I have been so slow to get ready this morning, mainly because it is snowing outside right now and I'm looking at it through my window and there is nothing that makes me want to go outside right now. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a rush to get to the ballet, so sorry if this feels really hectic, but I wanted to quickly show you my outfit before I went. This is like my go-to off the shoulder top. I've worn this so many times for so many occasions now, but it's from And Other Stories. I've then got this midi length skirt, which is also from And Other Stories. I've got my black heeled boots, which are from Topshop, I'm pretty sure, on ASOS. And then I've got my black guest bag which I wear quite often as well. This isn't exactly how I imagine this outfit to look. These two items are not layering brilliantly. You can't really see it on camera because it doesn't pick up dark colours very well for some reason but we're having to go with it. I also ran out of time to do my hair so that is just in a claw clip. I need to go so let's head to the ivy. <laughs> Friday today. I'm looking very flushed because I've had my heater on full blast to try and warm my room up. It snowed really heavily yesterday in Leeds so I've actually been at home all day because of it. The one lecture that I did have which was for advertising and promotional management was also put online because of the snow so I thought well that is just my sign to stay at home today. However I've been filming a day in the life for my TikTok so I've kind of forgotten to vlog on top. I've actually got my to-do list here which is very nicely ticked off. I can't show you what's on here because it does have some confidential stuff on it but I made the thumbnail for last week's vlog. I did some emails, spoke to my manager, did some brainstorming for an upcoming collab. 
I edited a get ready with me TikTok that I filmed yesterday. And then uni wise, I had my online lecture and I've also been doing a bit more data cleanup for my dis. But anyway, I am gonna stop rambling now and end this vlog here. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, make sure to like and subscribe for many more productive uni diaries. And also follow me on Instagram and TikTok for lots more extra content. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.